Hold on. Hold on. What is happening? You're making us cry over here today, brother. It's perfect for you. Oh, she's like singing out of my soul. Sometimes we get lost in our own little world, but it's all so much bigger than we realize. What's up, everybody? I got something really special for you. Knox Hill. I am still new to the world of Knox when it comes to his rap skills. Reacted to one of his songs, Internet, which was amazing. And I want to check out one of his latest songs now, Best of Myself. The reason why I'm intrigued by this one particularly, the title's intriguing. He's been prepping us on social media, letting us know this one's very personal. He felt anxious about putting it out. It's a special one to him. So I want to check it out with you guys. There's a lot going on, and we never know what goes on behind closed doors when people are really trying to do their best, but they're hurting. Are you ready? Here we go. I walked the other side of boulevards and broken dreams. I covered up the pride, but deep inside it's hide and seek. Deep down I'm trying to find that peace of mind, some certainty. I saw the reasons why up on a sign that's passing me. I lost the best of myself. I lost the best of myself. My skin was porcelain, I'm crumbling down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna rewind. This is featuring Josh Schultz. This is going strong from the get-go, and the cinematography is neat on this one, the black and white. And what looks like a ghost-looking illuminated, I don't know what, floating up in the streets. I walk the other side of boulevards and broken dreams I covered up the pride but deep inside it's hide and seek Deep down I'm trying to find that peace of mind, some certainty I saw the reasons why up on a sign that's passing me I lost the best of myself I lost the best of myself My skin was porcelain, I'm crumbling down Crumbling down Lately I'm struggling, been feeling this pressure and lately I'm wondering Maybe I'm crazy or maybe my mayday is coming and I just keep crumbling The road it gets harder, I know I'm a father, got hope for my daughters But how can I show them the way when I'm lost? Painful to cross, I'm taking the odds, I pay what it costs My faith is unfaithful, place is unstable, I pray with my plate at the table But I am still empty inside, envy and pride are centuries for lies This is my demise, a sensitive mind, the clock spinning but I pin it with these hands Can I make it out of this, I'm taking weight up out of it, but ain't no way that I can, man I walk the other side of boulevards and broken dreams I covered up the pride but deep inside it's hide and seek Deep down I'm trying to find that peace of mind, some certainty I saw the reasons why up on a side that bass. Oh, 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 oh. I lost that the best beat is of myself dope. I lost the best of myself My skin was porcelain, I'm crumbling down it's not that down. I'm sad, it's not that I'm weak It's everything that I've just had to release The pressure it mounts and I'm back at the peak At the ledge of the precipice, if I just leap Then maybe it's peace and these devils will cease I'm sick of these critics, I'm sick of the rumors I sit in that room, my wife with a tumor I think of our lives and I'm trying to soothe her I try not to cry but inside I just lose it, I'm lost <sighs> You've given me light, your smile is hope We've two little daughters, a lifetime to go They look in my eyes and need mommy at home I can't do this alone, I just hope that you know You're the peace to my soul, you're the reason I'm whole You're my peace in my home, I need you <sighs> I need you. I just wanna grow old together, but I'm struggling to hold it together. On this road, I'm alone and fed up. There's no one who really knows me better. Through the holes and stresses, when the roads have ended on these old endeavors, you're my roles forever. I love you. I just need you to come home soon. Hold on. Hold on. What is happening? Okay, guys, I'm gonna interpret this based on what I'm hearing because I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. So if I'm saying something wrong or I'm off, please inform me in the comment section and don't be offended if I get it wrong. Is his wife ill right now? Did I understand that correctly? Because it sounds to me like first he's talking about his own struggles and his faith being faithless. And that, that line hit me. Hmm. I know what it's like to feel like I'm going through that dark night of the, the soul. When your faith feels faithless and you have big questions when it comes to your faith. And it feels like everything's crumbling, like your skin is porcelain. Because there, that's something that's hard to put in words unless, unless you've lived it. Not only when it comes to faith crises, but when it comes to that search for identity, for meaning. As we get older, a lot of our existential fears, our desires for freedom to express ourselves, our desires to understand the meaning of life, our death anxieties and our, our grappling with life and death and our mortality, all that stuff. 
increases as we get older, especially in that 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 age that we're at now. Right. You got spouses, you got kids. You're trying to provide, trying to be a good spouse. You're trying to make meaning of life. You're trying to make a name for yourself. I thought maybe this illuminating female floating was I don't know. I think it was his mother-in-law who passed. Maybe it was a reference to her. Right. You feel that pain. You feel that pain for your spouse who lost their parent. But you also feel that own pain because it's it, they have become your parent, too. And so there's that pain. I thought maybe that was a reference. Then he's speaking of his own struggles, trying to keep it together. Now he's singing about something with a tumor. Was his wife diagnosed with a tumor? He's speaking of trying to be there for his daughters, wanting his wife to come home soon, referring to her as his rose, as the one he's doing all of this for. So it's this love nod. So there's a whole lot to unpack here when it comes to me wondering what is going on in Knox's life behind the scenes. It's amazing that he is being vulnerable. And it's courageous that he's letting us see that. When you put yourself out there, you share part of what's going on in your life with the world or you show people your struggles. While the reactors out there and the people that are reviewing things may scrutinize, take apart or criticize, even more so the people listening to you, the people that you're trying to impact may dislike or criticize and scrutinize, right? So not only is he on a platform where reactors like me may take it apart, day to day he's putting out his music and his videos for millions of people who will form their opinions and who will comment and who will think. And the thing is, for some of us, sure, we can just, you know, block accounts and not even look at the comment section. But for those of us who really want to impact people, who do care about what's being said in the comment section, who want to interact with people in the comments, who want to make a difference and leave a legacy, you have to kind of stay in it and see what's going on and how your music is impacting people. You want it to have an effect. And so by doing so, by wanting to make a difference, you have to pay attention to the difference you're making. And by doing so, you also hear some of that criticism and you get, you hear some of that, the, 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 the ridicule, the criticism, the opinions. And that can be overwhelming. And so it takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there like that. That bass that kicked in earlier and then that beat it goes pretty hard. It, it creates a really beautiful foundation for this, this piece. That everything was done in black and white. Also pretty profound and very fitting to what's going on here. I'm sick of the rumors. I sit in that room. My wife with the tumor. I think of our lives and I'm trying to soothe her. I try not to cry, but inside I just lose it. I'm lost. <sighs> You've given me light. Your smile is hope. We've two little daughters. A lifetime to go. They look in my eyes and need mommy at home. I can't do this alone. I just hope that you know. You're the peace to my soul. You're the reason I'm whole. You're my peace in my home. I need you. <sighs> I need you. I just want to grow old together, but I'm struggling to hold it together. On this road, I'm alone and fed up. There's no one who really knows me better. Through the holes and stresses, when the roads have ended on these old endeavors, you're my roles forever. I love you. I just need you to come home soon. I walked the other side of boulevards and broken dreams. I covered up the pride, but deep inside it's hide and seek. Deep down, I'm trying to find that peace of mind, some certainty. Mm. I saw the reasons why I bought a sign that's passing me. I lost the best of myself I lost the best of myself My skin was porcelain I'm crumbling down Crumbling down Wow That is beautiful I love how her hand or the hand of this illuminated angel holds his and that's interesting because in the beginning he speaks of his faith being faithless and maybe this is a representation of an angel of, of God, of some type of comforter who is holding his hand saying, we're going to walk in this place together. Or it's his wife, right? The, 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 the spirit or the soul or the, the idea of, of his wife holding his hand saying, we're going to be okay. And he's headed here towards the hospital. This is heavy because he's sharing something that's very personal that's going on in his life, his struggles. When I first heard the title, Best of Myself, and then he's singing about losing the best of myself, I thought that it was this reference to when we're going through these hard times and we don't know who we are anymore and we're lost, we lost hope, sometimes we feel like we've lost ourselves or the best of ourselves. And I can relate to that because in times of, of darkness, in times of doubt and faith crises, I would sometimes feel like I've lost who I was supposed to be. I've lost the best of myself, right? This season of my life was the, the peak and that was who I was supposed to be and everything since then has been plan B or C. And I've, I've had to learn and I'm still learning that that's not true, that this life is complex and it's not just this one size fits all. It's not just this one journey the way that we pictured it and that these struggles are very normal, very normal in our existential, in our existential distress. When we get older, when we go, 
what was I supposed to do? And we find ourselves, be it in relationship, be it in our career or within ourselves or our faith, we start wondering, who am I? How did I get here? I lost myself or the best of myself or who I thought I was supposed to be. Then as the song progressed, though, I think I'm realizing the best of himself is his wife. And the song is for her. And he is saying, I'm losing the best of myself, as in you're, I can't lose you. You're the best of me. And you're going through this health crisis. You're in the hospital. And I need you to come home because you are the best of me. I think this is well written because it's personal to him and he's letting us in on that. And there's something very powerful, even psychologically, when people are authentic, when they are vulnerable. But it's also powerful because it's, it's personal, but it's still open enough for interpretation where each of us can take it for ourselves. How have we lost the best of ourselves in regards to who we thought we were supposed to be because we're going through a hard time? Have we lost the best of ourselves because we lost a loved one? And we're processing that grief because we think that part of us has died now and it feels that way. There's different ways you can take that depending on the hurt you're experiencing, who you are, and what you've been through. But it's, I think it was helpful that the hook and the chorus kept going back to that I felt like was a fairly straightforward musical arrangement when it comes to the notes and the, the melody. I think that was helpful because the verses were very heavy. The cadence flow worked well with that beat. The rhyme scheme was neat, but the biggest thing for me was what he's saying. The lyrics were heavy and they pulled me in. You're making us cry over here today, brother. <laughs>